Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds, middleweights going at it. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Laura's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Garcia's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Remember what we talked about. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Oh, what a left hand. See him holding on. Garcia's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. And now he's targeting upstairs. Final 10 seconds. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place, and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. Get some water. There you, go. you good? You all right? the eyes are on him to start this round. Garcia's legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Gets rid of that effort. Oh, 
Flush shot. It was the overhand left. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Halfway through round number two. absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Keep it going. Good way to protect the midsection. This is where all that great experience on the Cuban national team comes to play for Aris Landi Lara. He is so composed. He was hurt. He recovers. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. End of the round. Okay. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with your ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. We just got keep it. your hands up and keep working again. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Harris Lani Laura has done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. And he ties up on the inside. Garcia is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. able to land a nice clean left hand able to land another power shot early on here Teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace no I don't think so if he keeps at this pace he's not gonna be around to worry up top with the right hand hey hey let's go <sighs> Last 10 seconds of round number three. Three minutes gone by in this round. Take your time out here. Keep the pressure up, but don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. It's there for him when he moves in. You're letting this guy get away. Now, come on. This is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You can't just move around. You gotta move your hands in there. All right, let's go. Okay, relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Laura's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Shake it off. 
At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Blocks away that headshot. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Oh, hands up, hands up. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Garcia. Head and body. Head and body. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. So he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. <gasps> Solid right by Garcia. Garcia's left now getting into the mix. Last 10 seconds. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Okay, better keep the yeah, moving to push him off. All right? Yeah, we'll get him. Okay. And we are back underway, another round in a... Garcia's done by that shot. You got him! Good job protecting himself. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think... Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Halfway into round number five here. Working the body. And now a well-placed hook to the head. He can crack, and he just did there. And he had the distance, Joe, the height that he wanted to set up that punch. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. It's all yours, baby, but you gotta keep working. Keep working, and this is your we fight. Don't get lazy out there, okay? Don't get lazy. Right. You're winning this fight, but don't get lazy. You don't need that, no, throw that away. How you doing? You can keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. And keep working the jab, okay? Garcia's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. 
this is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Good job staying away from the danger there. Laura's showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Laura's right hand working well that time. He scored well. <laughs> Garcia is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. You're it. doing what you're doing. He's, uh, he's done. Oh, he's oh, he's done. done. I want you to double up that, yeah? And finish up with the hook, okay? It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. something for him himself and it's a left hand go get him nice block that time it was intended to the head looking good Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. Laura's able to get to the inside and when he does get there, boy, he packs a lot with that uppercut. Well, hey, that's you're right, Joe. He does pack a lot because he's able to really snap that shoulder up. He's able to get real talk. You know, he pivots in the hip. You know, he brings it up from the ground. Laura's nailed by a hook. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And that's the end of round seven. Winning this fight. Estás ganando. Just keep doing what you're doing and you've got to. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that was good. You took a lot out of him that round. Come on, 
Let's throw punches down. You got power. Use it. Come on. We're losing this fight. I think his corner is looking over and just shaking their heads. They, they probably know which way this is going. Garcia is trailing on Teddy's scorecard here at the beginning of round number eight. His punch volume, almost non-existent. No, but the good news, that's the bad news. The good news, he's still in the fight because his opponent's punch volume is just a little bit above non-existent. Good block there by Garcia. What's the hook? The halfway point of round number eight. Good accuracy with that uppercut. <laughs> Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Arislandi Lara's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be hey, such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. Lock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. Harris, Londi Lara's right. in control this fight, Cut Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Another round, will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. Laura's able to land a good, solid left hand. Hey, 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 let's go! Wow, is he defensively sound. Arislandi Laura's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed, and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, hey, it has to be technically going, right, go. but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice work, nice work. Laura's right hand scores well. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land the counterpunch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on.
Aris Londi Lara's showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Body, then head. Body, head. Finish with a hook to the head. This fight, because listen to me, man. You, if you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. A little head hunting with the right. Laura's left, working well that time. Garcia's defense is paying off now. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Garcia is using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to you know place those punches in the right spots. Now he ties up there. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Oh, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Listen. I'm sure you've given a fighter much advice like this through the years, but when you're in round 11 like this and you have such a big lead on the scorecards, what do you say? Don't blow it, you know. <laughs> Don't go out there and stop punching, then the guy's going to walk right in. But keep doing what you're doing, but a little extra emphasis on defense. Don't give him what he wants. Don't give him a mistake. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Able to cover up that gut.
Oh, that's a big hook right there. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Nothing's changing course here. His corner knows it, he knows it, and his opponent knows it. Round after round, it's much the same. He's in control. Yeah, he has a great rhythm. I mean, everything's going right. He's like a great singer up there on the stage, hitting all the right notes, just sailing along. Deep breath. Stay with me. You got to do more to win this fight. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses. They have reached the 12th and final round. Scored well up top. Teddy has a hard-working trainer. You must love what you're seeing here. And that's a fighter that looks just as strong, just as fresh as the first round. Yeah, this is a guy that knows he gets better as the fight goes on but not only that he understands what being a pro is a pro isn't being good for four rounds for six rounds it's being good for the whole night and that's exactly what he embraces Halfway through this 12th and final round. Final minute of this final round of this fight. to go in this the final round that's okay pay him back completely one-sided fight at least that's the way we saw it yeah i mean if you saw it any other way you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight kind of like on a pack of cigarettes you know this could be hazardous to your health i mean these guys could be hazardous to your career if they scored any other way here's the official decision Harris, Lonnie Lara's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.